and we'll go ahead and get started. Just a couple of housekeeping things before we get started. Um, it is partners yoga class today, but if you don't have a partner, please don't worry about it. Um, most of these poses we'll be doing today, you can do by yourself or um, with a little bit of a modification. So don't worry about that. Um, and then secondly, um, as always, if you don't feel comfortable doing a specific pose or something feels a little bit too advanced for you, um, don't worry about that either. Just find a comfortable position. You can always find child's pose or um, find a modification of that pose, which I always try to provide. So those are just two things I wanted to get out of the way in case you had any questions about that. Um, we will be doing some kind of acro poses here and there with some balancing uh, with your partners today. So yeah, like I said, if you don't feel comfortable with that, please feel free to find child's pose or any other comfortable pose you feel like doing. Okay, and then with that, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be really quiet today so you can hear my explanations of these poses. You're gonna get started in a seated meditation uh, before we start our couples poses. So if you guys can just find a comfortable position on your mat, find a comfortable seated position. I'm not, gonna, I'm not sure if you can hear me all the way back here, but I'm gonna speak my loudest. Okay, so if you would like to sit on your mat in a comfortable seated position, you can sit on a block if you want to, place it underneath your hips, maybe grab a pillow, whatever's comfortable today. We're just gonna get in the right mind space before we begin our practice. So when you find that nice, comfortable seated position, go ahead and close the eyes. Roll the shoulders down and back. You can place the hands on top of the thighs, on top of the knees. Wherever you'd like today, let's all take a nice deep breath in through the nose, through the belly, through the lungs. Open mouth, exhale. And it will go two more, just like that. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more, just like that. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Release the jaw. Release the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Release the area between the eyebrows. Keep the eyes closed here. Let's just take a second to become present on our mats today. Again, notice any sounds that surround you. Any smells. Any sensations on your skin. And then bringing that attention inwards, noticing the natural breath. How the belly rises as you inhale and falls as you exhale. Noticing your heartbeat. And then taking a moment here, let's all just begin to think about something we're grateful for today, something that made you smile, something that brought you joy. <laughs> Maybe it's a puppy trying to play with you during your yoga practice. Maybe it was just a moment in time today, a person, whatever it was that brought a smile to your face. Just think, picturing that in your mind, meditating on that thought. Just inviting that energy of gratitude into your practice today. The last year or so has been insanely stressful and chaotic and very unpredictable. So really the point of this class today is to, I don't know, just give you guys an opportunity to explore different ways we can support one another, whether you're with a friend today or with a partner. Um, this class is really just an opportunity to, yeah, explore different ways to support each other, to encourage each other, to communicate with each other, to trust one another. Um, so with that in mind, we will go ahead and get started with our first partner pose. It's going to be easiest if we assign partner one and partner two. So go ahead and do that now. I will be partner two today. And Jack here is going to be partner one. 
So you and your partner decide if you're going to be one or two, and then I will just be saying, okay, partner one is going to be going into this pose and partner two will do this. So that way we won't get confused, okay? So for our first partner pose, partner one is going to find child's pose on the mat. Take knees nice and wide, big toes to touch. Take the hips back towards the heels, and then you can just walk the hands out as we melt the chest the mat. Arms can stay overhead, or if you'd like to bring arms down by your side today, feel free to do that. <laughs> partner two, we're going to find the back of partner one, and basically we're just going to find a nice gentle heart opening pose on top of your partner here. So we normally do a nice heart opening pose with a block or a prop today. Today we'll be using our partners as our prop. <laughs> so basically, you just want to find hips to heels of partner one. And we're just going to slowly melt on to the back. So we're going to go back to back here. You can walk the feet out. Find a nice comfortable position here. Arms can be overhead. Or arms can come out to the sides here for optimizing that nice heart opening stretch. Continuing to breathe. Nice big inhales, you can bring arms overhead. Exhale, bring arms up to the sides. Rounds just like this. When you're ready, we're slowly going to switch roles. So, partner two is now going to find child's pose, and partner one is going to find that nice gentle heart opening stretch. So I'm going to face sideways so you guys can get a better look about how this kind of situation looks like. So again, partner two likes child's pose, bring these less and wide, sink the hips back, walk the hands out, that's comfortable today. And partner one is just going to gently lean over as we find that gentle heart opening position here. Go ahead and take a few deep breaths together, synchronizing your inhales and your exhales. Slowly, when you're ready, getting out of child's pose, sitting up. We're going to keep this back-to-back -back position here for our next few exercises. So finding a nice, comfortable seated position. Finding a nice, comfortable seated position for the both of you back-to-back. Bringing -back. arms overhead. Grabbing palms, grabbing, if you have this height difference like we do, you can grab just the forearms here. And you're just going to Move with the breath here as we inhale, bring arms overhead. Exhale, bring arms up to the sides and then lean over to one side. So you and your partner pick a side, lean over, and then reach up and over with the opposite arms, finding a nice, gentle side stretch. Inhale, bring you back to center. And then exhale over to the opposite side. Bring a nice side body stretch here. Job. Bring it back to center. We're going to go through that one more time, but switching out the legs. So if you had left crossed over right, go ahead and switch out the legs, cross right over left, or vice versa. And then when you're ready, bring the arms up to the sides, bring over to the side, bring a nice side body stretch, the left or the right, and bring it back to center. Exhale over to the opposite side. Inhale back to center. And then exhale this time. Partner two is going to lean forward as partner one just leans on top. Yeah, there we go. So partner 
two, walks the hands out, leans forward. Front number one, finds a nice heart opening stretch once again here. And then slowly switch it out. Walking the hands up, partner one leans forward, partner two leans back, opens up our hearts, opens up the chest. Deep breaths in, when you're ready, bringing it back to center. Next, we're going to find a nice spinal twist here, keeping this back to back position with your partner, or again, if you don't have a partner today, it's going to be a seated spinal stretch or spinal twist. So, first, we are going to bring the right leg out in front of you at a 90 degree angle and bring the left leg behind you also at a 90 degree Right leg is in front, left leg is in the back. Try to get as close to your partner as you can here. And then when you're ready, inhaling arms above head. Exhale over to the left side. Left hand tries to grab your partner's knee. Right hand is grabbing your own left. It is falls all the way to the back wall. The front wall is what you're facing. Awesome job. When you're ready, inhale back to center. And then exhale over to the right. So the right hand grabs partner's knee this time. Awesome job. Bring it back to center. Nice and easy. We're going to go to that again. We're going to switch out the legs this time. So left leg comes to the front, right leg goes to the back. as close as you can to the partner. And then when you're ready, once again, inhale and arms above head. Exhale over to the left. Left hand finds that knee of your partner. Try to use your partner to twist yourself a little bit further. When you're ready, inhale and back to center, your arms come up. Exhaling over to the right. And then exhale, we're going to find the top position, so rolling onto the hands and knees here. <laughs> rolling onto the hands and knees here, finding tabletop position. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, feet about hip width apart here. Putting the fingertips nice and wide, gripping them out with them. Moving with the breath, inhaling, drop the belly, squeeze shoulder blades together, finding cow pose, looking up towards the ceiling. And then exhale to cat pose, rounding up the shoulder blades, engage the core, look down towards the knees. Inhaling to cow. Exhale to cat. You want to work through this a few more times, moving with your own breath, going at your own pace here. You get to add Few neck rolls, maybe move the hips side to side. Feel free to do that. Whatever your body needs to be able to just loosen up the spine a little bit more. When you're ready, holding those back toes under. And we're gently going to lift up the knees so they're covering two inches from the mat here. So we're engaging the core, moving into an active tabletop position. And then from here, working from the core, bringing belly button in towards the spine as you lift the hips up, press into the heels, make your way into a down dog. So nice, generous bend of the knees here. This is our first down dog. So you can bring belly, thighs here, walking out one foot. With the other. Inhale to the nose. Exhale to the mouth. 
Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step those feet up to meet your hands, making your way into a forward fold bend. So again, nice generous bend the knees, release belly over thighs, release the arms, you can grab opposite elbows, sway side to side. Add the head yes, shake the head no. Inhaling half lift. Hands can come to the shins, the thighs, the hips, maybe back in airplane arms here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rolling vertebrae by vertebrae, nice and easy. All the way up to standing, head is the last thing to come up. Roll the shoulders down and back, a few shoulder rolls in. Step to the back of your mat. And then we're gonna work through Sun Salutation A, just get a few flows in to warm up our bodies before we move into some more advanced couples poses here. So, you're switch. <laughs> so we're gonna work through Sun Salutation A, just our normal flow. The body's nice and warm here. So starting from Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Standing Mountain Pose. Go ahead and spread the toes nice and wide. Grip them out with them. So on the way to the middle of the arches. Flap in the knees here. Slide tip of the tailbone, engage the core. Roll the shoulders down and back. You bring arms up to the sides here. You can find hands to heart center. No beast choice. Taking a nice big inhale through the nose, fill the belly through the lungs. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, arms come above head. Exhale, forward fold. Hinging up the hips here, leave the chest. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, walk the hands out, high plank. Optional work for this on your knees, as always. From here, we're gonna inhale, high plank to low plank, keeping the elbows tucked in closely to the sides, all the way down to the belly. Inhale, baby cobra. Keep the arms bent here. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Release the shoulders from the ears. Open up our hearts, nice big inhale here. Exhale, flip the toes under, send the hips back, down dog. Inhale to the nose. Exhale to the mouth. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, arms above head. Exhale, hands to heart or center, Tadasana. Step to the back of your mat. We're going to work through that same flow two more times. Being a little bit quicker here, so inhaling arms above head. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, walk the hands out, high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, baby cobra. Option to go to full cobra, arms extended, or uh, upward dog, arms extended, thighs lifted off the mat. Whichever one you choose, shoulders away from the ears, nice open hearts, one big inhale. Exhale, flip the toes, send the hips back, down dog. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your eyes, arms above the head. Exhale, hands to heart center, Tadasana. Step to the back of your mat. One last time, just like that. Inhaling, arms above head. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, walk the hands out with high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, baby cobra, full cobra, or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look it up. Exhale to the mouth. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale. Reverse swan dive up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center to dust some mountain pose. Step to the back of the mat. Nice job, guys. Our bodies are nice and warm now, so we're gonna continue with our couples poses. Here, we're gonna work through chair pose first. So, let's do it this way. <laughs> so, we're standing here, I'm gonna adjust the camera so you can see 
uh, our faces may be a little too tall for the camera. <laughs> That's okay. As long as you guys can hear me. So we're standing face to face here. It should be about, um, I want to say arm length, a little bit more than arm length. So it should be at about the length where you can grab each other's forearms. That's kind of what we're going for here. So kind of get adjusted, find standing pose here. And then when you're ready, you're going to grab right hand to right hand, okay? So this is kind of a trust, trust exercise as well. If you don't have a partner, we're just gonna find chair pose, okay? So when you're ready, you and your partner both lean back and then sink into the heels as we find chair pose. We're gonna find twisted chair pose. Left arm comes out, gaze follows that left hand. Again, if you don't have a partner, just find that chair pose, okay? When you're ready, bring it back up. Next round. Opposite side, grab left hands here, or left forearms. First step here is to lean back, sink into the heels, and then begin to sit back like you're sitting in a chair here. So again, this is a trust exercise with your partner. Once you find that nice, stable chair pose, we're going to add that twist, reaching right arm behind you, gaze follows. <laughs> That's a tough one. When you're ready, we're gonna bring it back up. Nice job. Okay, so for this next pose, we're gonna step a little bit closer. Find forearms. Same kind of thing here. We're gonna lean back first, lean into the heels, sink like we're sitting in a chair. Good job. So again, this is definitely a trust, trust pose with your partner. Please feel free to communicate. If you're feeling off balance, if you need to push more, if you need to pull more. From here, we're going to sink all the way down to your mat. So find your hips. We're going to move straight into a boat pose. So sinking all the way down to your mat. Lift up the feet. Find boat pose. Great. <laughs> so this is where you might need to adjust a little bit more, especially if you have a height difference like we do. If you can, extend the legs fully out in front of you. This is kind of the full expression of this partner boat pose. But if you can't quite get there, feel free to bend your knees. Or if one partner needs to bend the knees and one partner can extend, just communicate <laughs> with your partner what you need, what doesn't feel good, what does. If you'd like to find that full expression with us, both legs are extended here, grabbing the hands. Great job. <laughs> And then when you're ready for a challenge, we're gonna work the core in my classes. As always, go ahead and try to let go of your hands. Engage that core just a little bit more. <laughs> and then slowly, you can bring it down. <laughs> okay, so now we're facing one another. Partners are facing each other. We're gonna find butterfly position with the legs. So soles of the feet come together. And then from here, we are just going to grab each other's forearms and do a little push-pull here. So again, communication is key with these partner poses. If something does not feel good, make sure to communicate that. If your partner it's a little bit too much or if you need a little bit of a deeper stretch, I can say that as well. That's, that's a good thing to have, this communication. So for this first one, partner two, go ahead and just lean back nice and easy. Partner one is just going to melt his chest forward as we just find a deep butterfly stretch here. When you're ready, slowly come back up and switch it out. So partner one's going to pull, nice and easy. Partner two just melts the chest over the feet, head between the shoulders. Drop slowly, bring it back to center. Go ahead and release this pose. All right. So for these next partner poses, they can be a little bit more advanced or a little bit intimidating. So again, feel free to find a modification of either one of these or just find another 
position that you'd like to do today. So this first one is going to be kind of a variation of plank. Um, it's going to be a core workout a little bit for the both of you. So partner, if you have, again, this height difference, um, if one partner is a little bit bigger than the other, go ahead and have the taller or larger partners laid on the mat first. They're going to be the base of this position. Partner two, everyone that is you assign, we're just going to bring the hands on the outside of the feet for this partner. And we're going to find plank pose. Okay, so I'll demonstrate that and you guys can kind of figure out how to get there. So my hands are on the outside of his feet. My legs are going to come up and we're going to find plank pose while he's holding my ankles, if that makes sense. So here's the full expression. You guys can see. I'm engaging my core, shoulders over my hands. Nice strong plank here. Okay, so feel free to stay here. This is a good core workout if you would like to add a challenge today. Partner one is going to sit up, use his core, and bring his arms overhead as partner two makes an L position with the body. So that's the challenge for you guys today. I'm going to bring it back down. All right. And then we can just kind of step off to the side. So I'll demonstrate that again. We're going to move sideways so you guys can get a better look at what exactly that looks like. And then this is just kind of your time to explore this position, this challenge pose with your partner. Um, try different modifications, whatever you guys need. But again, I'll demonstrate that. Hands come on the outside of the feet. <laughs> hands on the ankles here. Find a nice strong plank pose. Shoulders over the hands here. And then if you'd like to add that challenge, engage the core for both of you. Create an L shape with the body. As partner two sits up, and you can try to, you can do that a few times if you'd like. Get that core work in. Great job. Okay, that's good. <laughs> and then just step off to the side. Whew. I want you to get your heart rate up for sure. <laughs> okay, so for our second couple's pose, it's called front plank, and we're gonna kind of do the same thing, assign one partner to be the base, one partner to be the flyer. So, typically, again, if you have that bigger partner, they're gonna be the base, and the shorter, smaller one is going to be the flyer here. And this, again, is going to take a lot of strength, a lot of trust and communication as we work through these. Um, go sideways. Okay, so the base is going to just lay flat on your mat. And then from here, yeah. And then from here, knees and feet come up. Yeah. Engage the core. The core is super important for this pose. So slight tick of the tailbone as bow back is flush with your mat here. Partner two or the flyer is just going to step right here as the feet find the hip bones. Okay, so this is step one. Step two, hands are going to come together here. And again, this is going to take a lot of trust and communication with your partner. The key to this pose is to keep the arms locked out for both of you. So keep those arms nice and strong, nice and straight. The base is going to bend the legs here. And then when you're ready, he's going to kick up. <laughs> Use the leg muscles as we extend up. And this is called front plank. The key here is to just balance. The feet are just above his hips. Shoulders are stacked over shoulders. My core is engaged. My leg muscles are engaged. I'm not just being all floppy. That's gonna make it hard for your partner. So staying nice and strong and sturdy. Cores are engaged. Breathing together, communicating, smiling. <laughs> Trying not to fall or die, it's fine. And then when you're ready to come down, the base is just going to bend the knees slowly, take it down with control. Okay, so those are kind of your challenge poses, poses today. Try that with your partner. Um, if you haven't already, you can switch out partners if you guys are kind of the same size and one partner wants to try 
one and the other. This is your time to just kind of maybe pause the video if you're watching this later, or right now, if you would like to switch partners, try either one of those poses, feel free to do that. They're definitely a challenge. So if you can't quite get there, don't worry about it. Those kind of take a little bit of practice and they're really great, fun um, poses to do even outside of this yoga class that you guys can keep practicing those poses together. And again, it's a really great way to kind of explore these different ways you can support each other, you can trust each other, communicate and encourage one another. Um, like I said, that's kind of the whole point of today's class. Take a drink of water. I worked up a little bit of a sweat there. Okay, moving on to our next couple's pose. It's going to be standing, so standing side by side with your partner here. We're gonna find a wide-legged stance, just a little bit wider than the hips here. And then outsides of the feet, touching here. Okay, and basically this is just a really cheesy couple's pose, but it's Valentine's Day theme, so we're gonna create a heart with our bodies. <laughs> so, uh, outsides of our feet are touching here, wide-legged stance, hands are going to come together in the middle, nice and straight, and then we're going to reach up and over with the opposite arm and kind of curve in as we find this heart position. Oh, they can't. Let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. So, lower arm is straight. We're going to reach up and over with our upper arm, kind of curve it over and create this heart shape with, <laughs> with our arms. I hope that looks like a heart. I can't see. Okay. So go ahead and try that with your partners. We're going to go to the opposite side as well. So we're going to do both sides here because this is a side body stretch. So palms find each other here, then reach up and over the opposite arm. <laughs> Again, you might need to adjust your stance. You might have a lopsided heart, but that's okay. <laughs> and that is our cheesy pose of the day. Okay. Yay. Okay. So from here, we're just going to find some more stretches using our partners, kind of some leverage. So find a seated position. We're going to face one another again. And right leg is going to come in and left leg is going to come out. That makes sense. So right knee is bent, left leg is straight, and we're going to sit close to our partners. So, yeah, so the shins, the right shins, or to be kind of parallel with one another, if that makes sense. If they're touching, that is even better. Okay, so from here, left legs are extended, right leg is in. We're gonna grab left arm to left arm. So you should be grabbing like a forearm-ish area, inhaling left arm up, and then exhaling over to the left side. It should, uh, it should feel really nice in the left side body. Oh, right side body. <laughs> you get those confused all the time. When you're ready, bring it back up. Switch it out. Left knee bends, right leg extends. Left shins become parallel with one another. Grabbing right arms this time, inhale, left arm up, and now we're going to find that stretch on the left side now. Reach up and over. Inhale, bring it back to center. Um, from here, we're just going to scoot back a little bit. I'm going to extend both legs this time. If you can, find feet to feet. That's ideal, but if you can't quite get there, no worries. You can have your feet on the calves. Um, that's fine too, for the ankles maybe. All right, so from here, grabbing hands. Again, being very gentle with our bodies here, communicating with your partner, what feels good, what doesn't feel good, what's too much, what's too little. And then from here, we're just gonna do that same push-pull action. So partner one is going to pull as partner two just kind of melts forward, hands come forward, and then head just relaxes in between the shoulders. 
Let's see. Finding a few deep breaths here. Just allowing yourself to kind of relax. Think a little bit deeper with each exhale. When you're ready, slowly coming back up. Switch it out. Our two going to pull forward, nice and gentle. Maybe leaning back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Breathing together here. Just trying to sink a little bit deeper in this pose with each exhale. Nice job when you're ready. Slowly bring it back to center. Go ahead and release. Great job. From here, we are going to extend. I don't know how to. Okay. We are going to extend the legs and then just slowly take it all the way back down to your mat. Slowly lowering down. Do the bridge pose. We're going to find a bridge pose next. And I'm trying to figure out the best way to show this on video. Yeah, okay. Get enough space to show all of this. Okay. So go ahead and partner two, no, partner one is going to bend the knees, soles of the feet by the mat, and we're just going to find a bridge pose here. Okay. But the twist, the couple's twist on this bridge pose is that partner two is going to bring the feet on top of the shins and also find a bridge pose. Okay. okay, so we're set up here, feet on the shins, not the knees, and you both are going to lift up, lift your hips up as you find bridge pose. So count it down, you're ready, three, two, one. Lifting up the hips, finding this couple's bridge pose if this, my dog wants to join in couple's yoga today. <laughs> Hands are down by the hips for support here. Engaging those glute muscles, keeping a nice space between the chin and the chest. Continuing to breathe. Nice job. When you're ready, slowly lowering down, bringing those hips back down to the mat, and then switch it out. So partner two, soles of the feet find the mat. Partner one, soles of your feet find the shins, and then. Hands are down by your hips for support. And when you're ready, counting it down, three, two, one, slowly lifting those hips up as we find this bridge pose. Again, keeping a nice space between the chin and the chest as we continue to breathe here. And then when you're ready, slowly bring it back down. Hips come to the mat and then hug the knees in towards the chest as you rock side to side. Awesome job, guys. When you're ready, finding kind of your own space on your mat here. We're just gonna do a few spinal twists. So knees are hugged in to the chest. We're on our backs, keeping the right knee hugged in towards the chest, going with the left leg falls to the mat. And using your biceps to hug right knee in towards the right shoulder, rolling out the right ankle, spreading out the toes, playing with your tongue. And from here, left hand finds right knee. <laughs> we slowly guide that right leg over to the left side. Pressing shoulder blades into the mat. Extending the right arm out to the side, gaze follows. Inhale, bring it back to center. And then switching it out. Putting in the left leg, letting the right leg fall to the mat. Pulling out the ankle, flexing, pointing the toes. And then when you're ready, right hand finds left knee. 
Right hand guides that left leg over to the right side, pressing shoulder blades into the mat, extending out the left arm, gaze follows. Slowly hugging left knee back into the chest, hugging right knee into the knee. Both knees rocking side to side. And then extending the feet up towards the ceiling. Activating the lower abs here. Pressing low back into the mat. Slide to the tailbone as we slowly lower those feet all the way back down. Finding final resting pose here. You can have the legs extend, feet play out to the sides, arms come out to the sides. Tucking shoulder blades into the back, finding a nice, comfortable resting pose here. So I'll take a nice deep breath in through the nose, filling up those lungs as much as you can. Nice cloud, open mouth, exhale. And we'll go. Release the tongue from the roof of your mouth, release your jaw. A few more deep breaths here with eyes closed. Just gonna guide you through just an ending meditation here together. Again, just noticing how the belly rises as you inhale and how the belly falls as you exhale. Take notice of the heartbeat. Taking notice of any subtle changes in your body compared to the beginning of class today. And then again, bringing into mind what we're thankful for today. Whatever it was that brought you joy, that brought you happiness, that brought a smile to your face, just meditating on that thought. When you're ready, let's all take a nice deep breath in through the nose, bring arms overhead, doing a full body stretch, reaching the fingertips as far away from the toes as you possibly can. And then exhaling, hugging knees in towards the chest, rolling over to either side, making your way into a fetal position. into a fetal position. And again, just taking these last few moments for moments of gratitude. Thank you yourself for showing up on your mat today, carving out this time and space for your practice, with your partner without thanking your body for all the hard work it's just done and continues to do each and every day. When you're ready, you can use your arms to slowly make your way back up to a seated position. Arms come out to the sides, ending with a few neck rolls, doing a full neck roll to the right. And a full neck roll to the left. Bringing hands to heart center. Thank you guys for joining me in our special Valentine's Day couples yoga class tonight. If you have a partner or a friend that joined class with you today, Hello, thanks. <laughs> um, I really appreciate the opportunity to guide you guys in your practice today um, and kind of work through this space to support and encourage one another. Um, I encourage you guys to just continue to do that throughout your rest of your week, find different ways to support one another. And with that, the divine in me honors the divine in you. Namaste.